Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel video joining us for the first time. My name is Anna Banana. So I'm guessing you already saw the title for it. I've clicked on this video. You are welcome to class. So let's just jump right into this video. Well, this video is about brushes. Oh my God, noise. Sorry guys, it's starting to rain. So ignore the background sound. I should have done this earlier, but I've been busy. So, okay. So the brushes you can see, um, the brush is actually a, a minimalist brush. Look in, in for lack of another word, let me just say a simple brush set that someone that is not a professional makeup artist can use. It, it comes in a pack of 10. So it's a BH Cosmetics brush. I got this about sometime last year. I have like two of this or more. And I think we sell this at Flickers, you know, so and you can easily get it anyway, especially if you live in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're outside the country, you should be able to get this too. It's a brush of 10 and it is an essential brush. It has everything for you. It's, a, it's an on-the-go brush. So you can easily get to anywhere or do anything with this brush. It just works, it's on the go. So. Um, it has the eyeshadow brush, the foundation brush, the powder brush, every every brush you basically need to get your makeup done. So this is a very easy brush if you are not a makeup artist or even if you are and you just need something simple that you can keep in your office, you can keep in your car to easily move around with. So let's start with the first brush. Now the first brush you see there is a spoolie. It's a spoolie. Um, or a wound um, for your eyebrows when you draw your eyebrows you can you use the spoolie to brush the hair up so the second brush we have here is an angled brush um, the brush is for highlighting your brows for applying your concealer and whatever you so if you're doing a very simple makeup look this is ideal but if you don't like the brush you can also get another angle brush but i think this works well so let's move to the next brush um and it has a very beautiful color as you can see all the colors of the brushes are very vibrant you can easily differentiate which brush is which so i think the brushes are good so the next brush we have on our list is or are the eyeshadow brushes they are blending brushes you can use them to buff in your concealers after you've applied the concealer to buff it in and make sure it sets you can use the brushes you can use the brushes to apply your eyeshadow primer you can use the brushes to apply your highlights you can also use them to um to <coughs> blend in your your eyeshadow so it just works perfectly especially if you're going for a simple look like i said these brushes are meant for simple looks and although they still work well for dramatic looks but then they are very ideal for it's very nude very simple i'm going to the office so i'm just taking a walk down the street kind of look so the block they 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 are really soft they're really soft they don't poke you and they blend in real well and they have two colors so you can know which brush you've used and which one you haven't used so you can easily work with them so the next brushes we have are the foundation brushes so if you don't like flat brushes there's another brush that you can use as in this set but these flat brushes are very ideal you can use it to especially this short one you can use it to apply your um your primer your illuminator it is it works well it works wonders so for those of you that use very liquid products and like to use flat brushes this brush is thick enough it is soft and it does the job and they are even the synthetic brushes were very soft synthetic brushes now this i use for my contour apply my cream contour because i like the way it moves but then you can also use it to apply your your foundation if you don't like flat brushes this still works well but i personally prefer to use it to apply my contour my cream contour and my powder contour so i would always go in with this brush because i like the consistency i like the way it moves i like the fact that it's very precise i can also use it for my highlights but i would rather pre use the eyeshadow brushes because i know they are detail they, they stay on exactly where i want them to be so if you rub them on your skin it's very soft so it doesn't pack too much product it just does the job just goes in and goes out and blends very well so it's not a flat brush it's uh somewhat dense yes it's it's compact and 
I, I believe you get what I'm saying. It's just very easy to work with. So the next set of brushes that we have are the powder brushes. Yes, these are the powder brushes. Now they have two powder brushes, you can see. You really don't need two powder brushes, you just need one. But probably you want to use one for contour, for a dark shade, and one for a light shade. It works well. So you can use it to sweep off your highlights, sweep off your contour, even apply your blush. If you don't, if you want a very diffused look, you have two brushes. You can use one for the powder and the other one to diffuse your, your contour and your blush and all and diffuse your highlights. You can use the brushes. So there are two brushes there for you to work with. And you can even keep one in your bag. Maybe you're done with your makeup and you want to reapply powder or something just in case of oil or just want to reapply powder you have a brush to go with so you can use one at home take the other one out so you doesn't you don't have makeup in your bag and all you can although you can still carry the whole makeup sets because it's you saw the packaging it's very compact very easy to carry so you can just throw it in your bag and you're ready to go but then if you don't want to do that you can just take one of the brushes and Take it out and you're good to go. It's easy to use. You know, I forgot to talk about the lip brush, but I'm going to show you the picture of the lip brush. So the lip, it also comes with the lip brush, which is the orange brush down there. So it is also very good and very essential. It does the job. It's a very tiny brush that can be used for your gel liners, for your lip. It still works. It all works very good, very well. Next up is the beauty blender this is the beauty blender i use i don't even remember the name ignore the dirt it might look dirty but actually i like to wash it when i am ready to use it so it's still very damp and works very well because it shrinks a lot so i don't like to wash it when i'm not ready to use it so i like to wash it when i'm ready to use it and that's all the products i use so i'm putting it back in the case so you can see that it fits into one case one very tiny case that you can carry up and down take anyway and you are good to go nobody will even know you have makeup in your bag yeah, but although you don't need to take it all but that is a must to have in every beginner's kit or for those of you that don't like too much makeup this is a must have very essential very basic brush sets that you can use so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video well if you have gotten this far it means you really like the video so please give the video a thumbs up and watch the next video because it's coming up very soon and we post two to three times every week bye guys Thanks for coming to class. Yes, this is our class, the Anna Banana Squad class. <laughs> Bye.